Wilson Combat has developed a Combat Tough bulletproof adjustable gas system for AR-15 and AR-10 platform rifles. Adjusting your rifle's gas volume will moderate your cichlet rate and tailor your gun's performance to your shooting needs and also function with a wider variety of ammunition. It is almost a necessity if you shoot your rifle both suppressed and unsuppressed due to the substantial difference in the amount of gas required for proper function. In this video, we will show you how to install and properly tune your gas block on a stripped and unloaded upper with the barrel and barrel nut completely installed. You will need a standard flathead screwdriver to make the adjustments and the supplied 3 seconds Allen wrench for the set screws to install the block. Make sure you have the correct size gas block for your barrel diameter and the appropriate length tube for your gas system. First, slide the gas block over the installed barrel gas seat to ensure a snug fit. If the block is too tight, polish the barrel gas seat with emery cloth or scotch Brite in a shoe shine motion until you achieve a snug fit. When the gas block is perfectly aligned with your gas port, install a set screw into the barrel dimple. At this time, it is a good idea to make sure your rifle's gas key mates with the gas tube. Ensure the gas tube fits properly without crashing into the gas key on your carrier. You may have to fit the gas tube to your gas key so the key will slide over the end of the gas tube without bumping into it for best accuracy and function. You can verify the alignment by removing the bolt from your carrier and sliding the carrier into your upper receiver until the gas key slides over the end of the gas tube. Also ensure that the new gas system will clear the inside of your rifle's handguard when assembled without touching the interior of the rail. A best practice is to perform a test installation of a gas block assembly to confirm gas port placement and block adjustment by test firing with a completely open gas valve, turned completely counterclockwise. Once you verify gas flow, you can use thread locker on your set screws for a semi-permanent installation. To tune your gas block, Turn the adjustment screw all the way to the right to completely close off all gas. Then back to the left counterclockwise, three or four clicks. You are now ready to begin your gas block adjustment with live fire. Load one round only into the magazine and fire a shot with a loose hold on the rifle. It will probably not lock the bolt to the rear. With the rifle unloaded, turn the adjustment screw one click to the left, counterclockwise. Fire another single shot and continue this procedure until the bolt locks open. Then turn the adjustment screw two more clicks to the left to assure that the rifle will function reliably when it's dirty and cold. This is your optimized gas setting for this particular rifle load. We recommend you turn the adjustment screw to the right until fully closed while counting the clicks so you will know what your optimal setting is. Remember, only adjust the gas block with the rifle unloaded. If you tune your gas system while using a suppressor, you may need to increase gas pressure by turning the regulator screw in a counterclockwise motion if you choose to shoot unsuppressed. If your rifle short strokes after getting fouled during shooting, further open the regulator in a counterclockwise motion until your system has sufficient gas to reliably lock the bolt back on an empty magazine. The internal stainless steel regulator assembly actually cuts carbon like an auger as you adjust the block ensuring that it will not clog or seize during or after heavy use. Unlike other adjustable gas systems, the rugged, durable Wilson Combat design continues to be adjustable for thousands of rounds of heavy use. If you need to remove heavy carbon fouling, you can move your gas block regulator through its full range of motion two or three times to free up carbon with the auger. 
Then return back to your optimized gas setting for best function and run a patch through your bore to remove any carbon that went into the barrel before shooting the rifle again.